Hello, welcome back with Sharon from Vivid Days. This will be my third piece in the studio today. I've just finished working on a piece which was called, I think it was, <laughs> oh my God, start again. <laughs> Hi, you're with Sharon from Vivid Days. Welcome back. This will be my third piece in the studio today. So I'm getting a little bit tired. So this will be my last one of the day and I will be working on my videos for the rest of the evening. I've just finished working on a piece which I called, I think it was Galactic Highway. Some beautiful colour schemes and these are the colours I'm going to use today. So I'm using colours that came from uh, the Sopery. So Sunset Orange, Burlesque Pink and also Purple Heart. So these colours look beautiful together. They do need a little bit more mixing in than the inks, but I am going to complement that with my, it's got like a pearlescent purple, a pearlescent galactic blue. So they should look really well together. I know the colors complement each other, but I'm gonna do something different with it. So red and yellow, and both magic color. So I am going to, I've poured my master cast resin on here, one plus one. Got a little bit of, don't know, I have to pick it out. Um, my background is white, so I want to keep an aim to keep some negative space, but I just need to get all these flecks of dust out of here. And uh, I've allowed that time to uh, level out. I'm now going to get my heat gun and give that a little pour. And then what I am going to do is um, use my colour. Sorry, I'm just going to have to turn my piece around that's drying because it is running off a little bit too much one way, so I'm just flicking it around the other way multitasking as we speak and i'm going to see if that stops that so i just need to change my gloves now because i got very sticky and we shall do this so mastercast one plus one is all mixed up i've added all my pigments and inks and I am now going to get my blowtorch ready so I can air out some bubbles in there. Just to be worried that my cheap board does look like it's got a little bow in the middle. I did level it and I did use my face mask when applying the uh, pigments because uh, they are very fine particles and you really don't want to be breathing those in. And I do have my doors open for ventilation uh, but I am going a few little bit of insects in. <laughs> and dust blowing all over. First world problems though, so let's get on with this and then I'll fish out any flecks of dust or anything uh, that come along. We'll deal with that one problem at a time. So I want to start by trying to just capture a feeling of something. There is no particular image, but I'm drawn by um, summer, or should I say spring, and some of these colours. So I'm going to start by adding my yellow as a stripe down the end. Should I say down the middle? And I'm going to let it work its magic. And I'm going to bring in this beautiful orange that we've got. Leave some in the cup. If I do have any left, I'll use that on something else. This orange is just yummy. Come back the other side and I have tried just adding a little bit of alcohol into my mixture and see what happens. Do I get any kind of effects or no effects? Just drag some lines down. Okay, leave that. And I'm going to, I believe, complement it now with the purples. I'll start with the darker ones and work my way out to lighter. And just some little lines going back the other way. Okay. Bring that in with gradiating these purples. Just doing a mix in because some of the powders are not playing ball today.
channeling those beautiful Aussie sunsets that I used to have the privilege of seeing. Bringing it in with, it's supposed to be a red, but it's more like the um, raspberry colour that I'm quite attached to. Finishing off with the blue. Okay, let's heat this up, run it up and down, and then see what we got. And I'll just work out whether I'm going to get the heat gun out and just give it a gentle blonde. But at the minute, just giving it some movement myself by just gently moving it up and down. I have kept colours again to go over them again to define them if they become a little bit of muddied or blended, just to give that definition. And again, not so much negative space as I was hoping I would have. Seems to be my thing. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it like that and get my heat gun. Just give it a gentle blow and see if I can keep the colours separate but mingle together and push out the orange and yellow. And if not, I'm going to come back through with it because that's what I feel like doing. Just gonna let that cool down a bit. Well, there's no point playing with it because you'll just lose it straight away and I'm just gonna gather everything to the edge if I can get my glove to fit my hand properly. Colours are divine, are separating beautifully and blending but complementing. The trick sometimes is just to stand back and have a little look at what's happening. Definitely allow your heat to come out of your resin. Let it settle down again. Let it blend, do the stuff it needs to do and then come in and start adding the detail. Paying attention to your edges. It's a bit deceiving though because mine were white at the edge. I'm just going to move it up and down again a little bit for some more of this bleeding and movement and merging of colours. Careful not to get too I bring that yellow back to the middle ish. Okay, still feel the heat at the bottom of this board, so it's going to take a little bit of time for this to cool off. So I'll fast forward this bit. the middle and repeat just don't have as much resin now though so you just have to be very careful with it just what you're doing with it watch what you do with the drop off just like I've done there not too worried though because I am going to be going over those colors again but the last thing you want to do is ruin your image These are not the best cups. I have ordered more smaller, eco-friendly cups, but these were all the ones I had left in the studio today. And I wanted to be in the studio. But there's grooves in them, they're too big. First world problems and all. Alright, so I'm going to come back through with my orange. on its side just in case I do need some more. Okay, leave 
leave it on his side in case you can't get any more out. You never know when you need more. All right, coming in with my deep purple. think this is a wrap This one keeps its vibrancy, eh? not like the other one. So I have just finished working on this, so just bringing you in to have a little look at it. Absolutely love the colours. I hope they stay vivid like this. It reminds me of a beautiful sunset over in Australia, but so far so good let's just hope that the gods of the night and the resin are going to be very kind and leave this as it is have a lovely evening